Hey, how you doing? Thanks for joining me. In this video, what we're going to take a look at is calculating the secondary conductor when we have a parallel group of transformers with the secondaries paralleled. Our primaries are not paralleled in this video. That was dealt with in the previous video where we had calculated the primary conductor feeder for a parallel group of transformers. Uh, and in the first video, we looked at calculating the primary and secondary conductors for single transformers. In this video, we're going to use the same transformers as previous, so we can use them for a calculation comparative. Uh, but we're starting with our 60 kVA, our 40 kVA, and our 20 kVA transformers, all operating at 600 step down to 480 volts. And again, these are single phase transformers, so we don't need to worry about that root 3 calculation uh, when we get to that point. So we are going to reference in this one 26258 sub rule 2, item B now for parallel secondary conductors on multiple transformers. Hey, the way the rule states is we are basically going to take the rated current of each one of these transformers, we are going to add them together, and then we are going to take 25% of that number and put it right on top. Okay, again, we're going to do a little bit differently, but it'll give us the exact same result. So first thing we need to figure out, what is the rated secondary current of each one of these transformers? We're not going to worry about the primary, just the secondary. So our first one, we have our 60 kVA divided by my secondary voltage of 480 volts. And again, we do not need to use the root 3. It's just single phase calculation. Gives us a rated secondary current on our 60 kVA of 125 amps. We're going to look at our second 60,000. Oh, sorry, not 60,000. Now we're dealing with our 40,000 VA transformer divided by our 480 volts gives us a secondary rated current of 83.33 amps and our 20 kVA divided by 480 volts gives us a current rating on this 20 kVA transformer of we have 41.67 amps. Now on the primary side when we had it paralleled we took the largest at 125% and added the rest this is where the difference is when we move to the secondary parallel connection. We are going to take the total of all of these. We're just going to add them straight up, which if we take 125, 83.33 and 41.67, we should get a nice even 250 amps. Okay. Now we're going to take this entire number and multiply it by 1.25. That's the difference between the secondary parallel and the primary parallel. Now we're taking all of these values and putting them at 125%. 250 times 1.25 should give us a number somewhere around 312.5 amps. That is the minimum size that this conductor right here can be. That's the minimum ampacity of this conductor. Again, we're gonna take this to table two, 75 degree column, because I'm given this 75 degree termination, and we are going to choose a 400 kc mil with an ampacity of 335 amps. Okay, so again, the main difference between primary parallel and secondary parallel connections on the primary side, according to 262581B, we are going to take 125% of the largest rated current and then add the rest of the rated currents. When we work with the secondary parallel connection, we are going to take all those rated currents, add them together, add 125%. And that's the number that we take to table two to choose our secondary parallel conductor size. Hopefully these videos have helped you. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.